Well, what are you doing? Apparently, somebody didn't like his macaroni and cheese, so he hid it in the change jar. Actually, I think that was your dad. I saw him in that area. Oh. Uh, speaking of your dad, I was thinking about what you said before to Deacon and Kelly. What? Yeah, the thing about maybe him taking him off our hands once in a while. I was kidding. I know you were kidding, but think about it for a second. I mean, we watch Kirby and Major all the time, right? They're children. So we don't have any children. We have a crazy old man. I mean, why does society say that babysitting is normal, but old people sitting, that's taboo? Huh. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I never thought of it that way before, but you may be onto something here, Butch. Thank you. I mean, how different is my father from a child anyway? I mean, he, he acts out, he screams when he doesn't get his way. When it thunders, he climbs into bed with us. You know something? We deserve some alone time just as much as Deacon and Kelly. Our marriage isn't perfect either. <laughs> Far from it. I mean, sometimes I wake up and I just want to run away from you. I feel the same way. Of course you do. And you know what? It's not just about us babysitting Major and Kirby. I mean, what about all the other things? The, the birthday parties and all the school plays we had to suffer through. Yeah, meanwhile, have Deacon and Kelly ever been to one of Arthur's things? No! <laughs> when he got his swimming certificate? How about when he was in that senior center production of Cats? Where were they? Too busy. Ooh, that was rough. Remember when that one cat broke her hip during memories? <laughs> The point is, we present Deacon and Kelly with a very reasonable request, and what do we get back? Gotta throw you a big fat no on that one. Yeah, I I'll tell you one thing, this is happening, friend. Oh, I know it's happening. You don't have to tell me it's happening, friend. We're not mad at each other here, right? No. Good, because I just got a little lost there for a second. <laughs> okay, they just pulled up. Okay, it's showtime. Dad, could you come up here for a minute? All right, kids, come on. Parents are here. Doug, help them get packed up. Okay. Uh, you know what, Curb? Why don't you get G.I. Joe out of that blouse and back into his khakis? <laughs> Hi for dinner? Uh, not exactly. It's just you haven't fed me since breakfast, and I'm starting to hear a low-pitched hum. You will be eating in no time. How was your afternoon? You get some good alone time in? Oh, it was great. We spent the whole day at the Modern Museum of Art. Ouch. <laughs> so, uh, where are you headed now? Uh, we're gonna take the kids to this new Italian place. Oh, you know what? That's right, Kirby mentioned that. You know who loves Italian food? Arthur, you love Italian food, don't you? I eat anything at this point. Just end this experiment. <laughs> hey, crazy idea. You love Italian food. You're going to an Italian restaurant. Maybe Deacon and Kelly can give you a lift. Heck, while you're there, why don't you guys just sit together, okay? Would you? Could you? What, what can I say? Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Okay, right. we'll have a good time. Here All you right. go. I'm glad this worked out. Go on, Dad. Go. Have a good time. All right. Go yeah. ahead, yeah, skadoodle. Uh, okay. Hey. Yeah. And you behave yourself. I want a good report on you. <laughs> All right. Kill one second. Here are his pills and his doctor's number and a list of foods he can't eat. Don't let him uh, order anything spicy. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, tub's ready. Sweet. We got the house to ourselves. Time to get a little clean and a little dirty. <laughs> so, uh, who should, uh, get in first? Um, I'm thinking you. 